It's your bullfrog on the road again. The National Road, to be exact. Yep, the old National Plate, one more time. But of course, heading west on the Pike can only mean just one thing. We're going to pass through Ellicott City. But still no bubbles as of yet. But Barry's coming along fine, apparently. Place is being fixed. These buildings are still here. Nothing's been torn down yet. But they're supposed to be torn down this month, November. From Kaplan's on down. Up here, these will stay. At least something is going to stay. A nice historic place. Maryland's gem of a town. But it will soon have a different look. And here at the upper end of the historic district. Marked by the wine bin. I gotta go in there one day and check out what they got. But still interesting how this road is how folks got around back in the day before the expressways came along, before the advent of I 70. mentioned Interstate 70, but only going as far as Frederick from this point will pick up US 15 northbound. And here it is. And the US 40 exit, the original national bike again. But we'll keep on this road. But again, on a part of the road I haven't used in over 20, 30 years. Actually, came this way about 10 years ago when I went to a, a zoo that's out here. When I went to the Catoctin Mountain Zoo. I guess they're closed for the season. I like animals, they're pretty cool. But this traffic isn't. Slowing down for construction. Here's our construction zone, complete with lane closure. I guess they're taking that intersection that was at grade and making an interchange out of it. And over there by this poles, a streetcar line once ran. Part of a track there now, part of what they call the Walkersville Southern Railroad. They offer tourist excursions. We've got to work on Saturday, work on the weekend. Instead of working for the weekend, they're working on the weekend. There you go. Part of the old road over there. The old two-lane road crisscrosses us several times. It became four lanes in the early 1960s. That mountain we occasionally get glimpses of is Catoctin Mountain, as per usual. And there is Catoctin looming in front of us. Here's the original route, and there's where we are. Catoctin Furnace. 
and where those tall poles are, the streetcar line I mentioned before once crossed part of the grade there. I believe it stopped running in 1955. It ran from, from Frederick to Thurmont. Yep, ran right along there and crossed and went that way. That's it. Follow the poles. I've seen photographs of it, but never got to ride. I have only been a year old. Again, a streetcar line crosses over, now it's going that way. I guess it crisscrossed the road several times. But here's the previous route, the current route over there. And up here's the place where I came 10 years ago. The Catoctin Mountain Zoo. Right there. I thought they were closed for the season, but there are a few vehicles parked there. Maybe they're the zookeepers. Gotta admit, much more peaceful than the current highway. Wouldn't you say? Not a bad route, though. And now arriving in Thurmont, home of Camp David. I'll see if I can find a spot where the streetcar track that ended by the Western Maryland line. Up ahead some place and to the right. Been a long time since I last passed through Thurmont. Gonna hang a right here and check things out. There's some place down here that streetcar track would have crossed. But as I said, pulled up in the 50s, so it'd be kind of tough to detect it. Look for those tall poles again, I guess. And I think I see some up ahead. Yep, here's a streetcar line, those tall poles there. And apparently part of it became a bike trail. And that's south, back towards Frederick. How about that became a bike trail since I last passed? About 15, 20 years ago. Gotta look for one more thing. And now west on Main Street. Every small town has a Main Street. How about that? Looking for the site of the Western Maryland Station. Again, our crossing of the streetcar line from left to right heading north went that way. Anyway, downtown Thurmont for the first time. But I gotta go have one more look again at the site of the Western Maryland Station or where I believe it was. Back on Old 15 again. Yep, Thurmont. The Western Maryland line right there. Sanger right, look for the station site. Yeah, that almost rhymes. It would have been right up there. Recognize those old buildings there from old photos I've seen. Up here, some place was the station. Guess I'll cross the tracks and have a look. Also, the trolley line would have dead ended up here, right by the Western Maryland station. Yep, here we are. In fact, all photos show a streetcar stopped next to a train and folks transferring from one to the other. As long as we're here, 
Anyone need any feed? I'm looking west down the Western Maryland line. Now CSX on this windy Saturday. Like I could talk to it in the background. And looking east in the direction of Baltimore. Now heading back out of the area the way I came in. Now departing Thermont. And yes, once again, that's Catoctin in front of us. And about to pass beneath the modern day US 15. We're not going to use it though. We're staying on this road. That way is Gettysburg. We've been there enough at times. And we're about to surmount Catoctin on this road. To the left, to the south would be Camp David, where our president hangs out on occasion. But something tells me it'll be all blocked off and closed. No admittance. See, in the case of the current president, I wonder why. We'll see more of the Western Maryland Railway as well. There it is on a high trestle, on its way west. More of that to come. And now passing through something. In fact, here at the point where Catalan Mountain and South Mountain meet. So we're crossing over the tops of both mountains, actually. Not that high up, about a thousand feet, but still, that's something. And again, our rail line down there, the former Western Maryland. And up here at the very top of South Mountain. We should begin descending pretty soon. And up ahead, we enter Sibyllisville. And here is downtown Sibyllisville. Wow, what a busy downtown, huh? Ahead again, the Western Maryland Railway over that bridge. Interesting thing about this part of the line, there's a horseshoe curve here that the track rounds. Yep, there's a famous horseshoe curve outside of Altoona, Pennsylvania, but there's a lesser famous one here in Western Maryland at Sibyllisville. A wide horseshoe curve on the Western Maryland line. So there are, in effect, two horseshoe curves here in America. Maybe more. I'm now passing through Cascade, Maryland. That's a cool name, Cascade. Isn't it? Not much to it, though. Straight ahead, there would be Fort Ritchie, a former army installation, but decommissioned in the late 90s. Some of the buildings are still left. We're going to hang a left here. An hour south on Route 491. Probably heading towards the Hagerstown area. One might say that. 
All right, hang another right. That'll be it right through here. Almost West Virginia, like. And now to descend into the valley. And now on a road with the same number as my age. Up here is Route 66, but not the one you think. Now we're in the Cave Town area. Aptly named. A couple hundred years back, there was a tourist cave to the north some place to the right. But it closed down early due to becoming a quarry. From cave to quarry, and the cave got messed up. And again, I watched the Maryland line down there. Oh, there we go. More of it. What's happening at the crossing? Nothing, I hope. But anyway, I don't want to drink Hagerstown. And apparently, one of the older neighborhoods here. And now in downtown Hagerstown, and west on the modern day US 40. Before continuing, I thought I'd stop and get you a video of the Western Maryland station here in Hagerstown. Trains last stopped here in 1957. Passenger trains, that is. Now it's a police station. And now in the original National Pike through Hagerstown. It'll bring us back to the current Pike eventually. Proceeding out of town on the original Pike. And a new circle that wasn't here before. Now keep on the old road for a bit longer. Keep on the original route for a bit longer. But those circles got me going in circles, literally. And back of the modern day pike, turn left to go west. And now both routes have become one. And of course, I took you over this road back in 2016 What a day odyssey. All the way to Ohio. Up here, part of the old road bears right. And we'll bear with it. So I can show you once again, Wilson Bridge. And there's Wilson Bridge. Built 1831, decommissioned 1933. And down beneath, below it is Kanakachi Creek. And there is the current highway bridge for Route 40 and the Pike. They built that in 33, then they closed down the Wilson Bridge. And we're about to cross that from left to right. And now crossing the modern day bridge I just showed you. But now north on a side road to go check out something else. And turn east on a side road to go to the thing I want to check out. Not much happening through here. Off the beaten path, for real. Some former crest ponds down there, but someplace up here on the hillside 
to the north is a cave entrance right up there. Hard to zero it in, but it's up there somewhere. And here's our cave entrance. The one and only Sketchrumpf Cave. One can go in. It does get wider. It's going to do some crawling though first at one point. Got to crawl for about 50 feet. Trying to get the cave floor there. Not having much luck though. But yes, I've been in there. One of the many caves I've been inside of. Well, sort of many anyway. But the long descent back down to the road, a steep drop there. I better be careful. Yep, one steep climb from up there. But I made it. Right back on the road. We're now making our way back to the pike. And typical of stuff out here. A farmer transporting stuff on his on the on the road, transporting his machinery, whatever there. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. Wow, nice guy. Gave me the road. Oh, old stuff there. How back was that last used? There's also a cave up, up top of there somewhere going into the ground, known as Coon Cave, and after the raccoon that used to inhabit it, or something like that, Raccoon Cave, something like that. Anyway, back at the pike. And once again, heading west, for a little bit longer. Well, how's they're built in two parts? First the front, then the back. We have a relieved curve up ahead, which I guess is kind of obvious. Right there on the right, the original pavement. And up there is St. Paul's Church. And now we're coming into Clear Spring. At the foot of, it, that's what's that man called again? Tuscarora. There is a spring behind the houses on the left, which is how the town got its name. But not sure we can still access it. Behind those houses, there somewhere. I guess a clear spring gave its place its name. Makes sense. Just pull it a U turn. U turn, whatever. Going back through to try to find where that spring would have been, or the access to it. They had a sign for a while, but the sign's been taken down a ways back. I think it was down around here somewhere. Or maybe right behind there. Yeah, it was back there. Right about now, don't, don't have time for a walk, for enough, a day, enough daylight for a walk. Actually, enough daylight for the walk, but it's getting cold out there. It's getting down to about 35 degrees out there. We're we'll losing light soon, so I guess we're going to hit the freeway. 
it's almost 3.45 now. So in about an hour, I'll begin losing light. Despite how bright it is out there now, I'll probably arrive home in the darkness. Let's see. But so far, it's been a fun 126 miles. It's now around 4.07 p.m. as we bypass the Hagerstown area. Earlier we passed through Hagerstown. Now we're bypassing it to the south. We made a pit stop that, that didn't get on video, but it was worth it. I got a free cherry coke out of it. Not bad. Yep, your bullfrog has clout. With the convenience stores. Good enough. Back in January, got free hot dogs. Yep, free stuff for making Day Odyssey videos. Good reward. Thank you for viewing, though. And again, in front of us, South Mountain. On our way west earlier, we made our crossing about 15 miles to the north, to the left. We have a route 550, as you recall, I think. And now to pedal up this here mountain. Well, that bridge is the Appalachian Trail, which I've hiked before. Parts of, not the whole thing, but I've hiked it. And that's on the other side of the mountain. Heads up ahead, our last mountain, Catoctin, once again. And way up there is High Knob. A good view from up there. Descending into Frederick. Yep, Frederick, one more time. And apparently, you come into some traffic as you bypass Frederick. And from here, another hour back to the big city. The sun's getting lower as we head east. The traffic is getting worse. Got sunset colors now for sure. Yep, you can tell it's going down. That place he passed through earlier. How about that? Route 40 that way, I 70 this way. But now, no more sun at all. No more sun hitting those trees. It's down. Or almost. And now five o'clock straight up as you approach the Baltimore area. You know you're back in town when things begin backing up. Here on the ramp to 695, Baltimore's Beltway. It opened back in 1962. A lot of old timers call every freeway the Beltway for some reason. And here's some not so old timers either, as well. Two, two lanes become one, that's the problem. Hopefully up here they're one we can start moving again. I was right. That's what it was. Much traffic on this Saturday night. But it's still afternoon. It's not night yet. Only about 5.05 right now. 
with typical Saturday night traffic here in Baltimore. Welcome. More traffic going counterclockwise for some reason. The other direction, in the other lanes. Can't explain that one. But not long before our exit. Tomorrow is Veterans Day. But I don't know if that's the purpose of this traffic or the reason behind it. I guess all the veterans hit the road. And finally, here it is. Sunset in suburbia. There's even a moon up there. How'd that get there? Interesting sunset color, though, again. And finally, back in the hood. Around 5.40 p.m. I believe we went around 219 miles today. Round trip. Not bad. And of course, that heavenly body is still up there. Whatever it is. Once again, thank all of you for the privilege of your time and riding along. All right, it's bedtime.